What is up, my friends? Welcome to the episode of Mog Monday. Just another Mog Monday. And we got our, our contractor, James, in the background providing some beats. He's uh, currently working on our <laughs> working on our, our laundry room. He'll be there all day. So uh, no good time to record Mog Monday today except for right here, right now. All right. And, um, and yeah, so Mog Monday... Of course, the show where I play goblins every single Monday. I believe this is episode 34. And um, just going kind of basic today. Nothing too crazy here. We're going to be playing some, uh, some more of this Persist Combo Goblins deck. Uh, three damage any target. Reese up. Thanks so much, Doctor. Thanks so much, Gummy Squids. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. And uh, Goblin Persist Combo. For those who haven't seen this deck, I've played it once or twice here on Mob Monday. And um, this is a pretty interesting version of Goblins in modern, based around the persist combos of Grum Gully and Metallic Mimic. This is what I call house music. I got the soundboard back on. Uh, so, of course, Grum Gully and Metallic Mimic both make goblins come into play with an additional plus one, plus one counter. And persist creatures, when they persist or died and come back to play, come back with a minus one, minus one counter, well, those obliterate each other. So, with a Metallic Mimic or a Grum Gully in play, a Persist creature will persist indefinitely. So, Putrid Goblin will die infinite times, or Red Cap. So now we have a couple combos here. Any Sack Outlet, we can keep sacrificing it infinite times. With a Prospector in play, we can sack for infinite damage. And with a Red Cap in play, we can sack for infinite... I'm sorry, infinite mana. And for with the Red Cap in play, we can sacrifice for infinite damage. Sling Gang also can stand in. Um, with Putrid Goblin for infinite damage as well. So we have a lot of different elements here. We have seven copies of our plus one, plus one effects. We have seven Persist Goblins. And then we have seven Sack Outlets. Um, not always needed in unison, but any combination of three of those will usually do it in some way. Of course, we're playing a lot, some of the regular Goblin Shell here, Goblin Matron, Aether Vial, uh, obviously, a munitions expert. All very good cards. Uh, Ringleader, if we need to gas up. And of course, obviously, it's really cool that Matron can tutor for any of our combo pieces. And uh, Aether Vial can put them into play uh, free of counter spells and things like that. So, definitely a little bit different than normal goblins, but I've been pretty impressed with this deck when I've played it. Um, the ability to just kill your opponent is very, very real. And we can just beat down, too. You know, we are just playing you know, vials and two drops and, and so on and so forth. Um, we're even playing Frog Tosser Banneret, a card that I uh, I make fun of a lot. But it actually makes sense in this deck because we're building to a combo and because we have a few of the more expensive goblins as well. Mana base built around playing green, all pretty simple. Cyborg... <laughs> um, cyborg's pretty simple as well. Uh, Dan makes me a relic icon. Uh, a couple Tudor Goblins, Thoughtseize, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Yeah, the only annoying part, of course, is that Metallic Mimic is not a Goblin for a Goblin Ringleader. Um, but otherwise, everything makes sense. And we're, we're playing more Sling Gangs and Red Caps than Ringleaders because we're trying to kill our opponent. You know, we want to be able to gas up sometimes, but realistically, we're trying to combo kill our opponent uh, early and often. So, that's the deck. And uh, let's do this. You're on Mog Monday. Not playing Tron. I don't know why uh, Magic only wants you to play Tron, but Tron's cool. You know, we're cool with Tron, but let's go. Modern League, just another Mog Monday. Mog Monday, right here on stream every single Monday, of course. Every single Monday. Of course, Mog Monday is brought to you by Coalesce. Coalesce Apparel, uh, of course, supports Black Lives Matter, as do I, and of course, all the stream. We raised a ton of money yesterday. Over $2,000 during the Fight Against Racism tournament. And y'all are awesome. I must say, I'm so proud of my community and so proud of y'all for being not only awesome and coming together to support good causes, but having good conversation in chat, never being uh, inflammatory or malicious. Y'all are just awesome. We raised so much money. Uh, we raised over $4,000 in the last two week weekends uh, for various uh, charities focusing on ending racism and police brutality. Super, super awesome. So, um, 
The Black Lives Matter shirts, I believe, are back in stock on Coalesce, promo code Jim10. Tons of awesome new shirts as well. Uh, the Bolt U shirts are in. Those are really cool. Um, of course, my pile driver shirts. Check them out. Uh, Coalesceapparel.shop, promo code Jim10, 10% off your order. Coalesceapparel.shop. Uh, Titans fan, I have not. It's a good idea. Um, don't plan on having hammering all the time. Obviously, there's a million things I want to be checking out on a stream, but you know we got to get back to work on this house. So, knock it out, Mob Monday today. Um, I mean, Sand is not particularly great. We are on the play. I think I would Mulligan on the draw, but I think on the play we're just gonna keep. I think it's reasonable enough. So, let's keep. Yes, four thousand dollars is a lot of money. It's awesome. And we played a uh, blue white control in the tournament yesterday. We were four one. And then we, we uh, lost Todd Anderson, and then we were out of the event. But um, it was fun. I uh, I allowed my my deck choice to be up for silent auction, and Amalek won the won the bid uh, for a donation. Uh oh, Gemstone Caverns, and uh, Amalek provided us with a Planner Cleansing Control deck, Academy Ruins. It's just some ridiculous mono blue Tron player. These mono blue Tron players. Um, I have seen a few M21 previews. I've seen no goblins yet. What is, oh, is it? What is, what is this? I can't... Oh, it must be Meotron. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I guess we're not on the play. Yeah, I, I guess not. They're going to think their relic is good, like we're playing Jund or something. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's gone. We'll get Stomping Ground, I guess. Blood Crypts. Doesn't really matter what we get, honestly. Got all these Cavern of Souls in our hands, and so no big deal. Uh, Al says, started following you in Khan's Dark Here block. You're one of the people who put me faith in Manus Rider instead of Siege Rhino. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate that. Yes, uh, those are some cool Jeskai decks. Ooh. That's not a bad draw. Um... Frog Duster leads into a turn three ringleader. I'd still want to mimic though, honestly, because they, uh, they only have one blue up. And they can't condescend and stuff or whatever. This is the only thing they can't be cast through cavern. Yeah, I must actually play the mimic. I think. Don't spell snare me. All right, Neiman Goblin. We think they're playing Mono Blue Tron. We'll see. We'll see. Eastbone and resub, thanks so much. Oh, they get a natural Tron, me too. It'd be really annoying. It is mono blue Tron, so like they like get Tron and like don't do anything. So expert. Mm. Yeah, oh card. The funny thing is that card like isn't even that good. Um, it's it's like stupidly pushed, but also not really playable and standard. It's kind of a weird place to be. Um, it's a new like green, green, three green card that can do everything, but like it just doesn't do anything. It's turn it comes into play, which makes it not really playable and constructed. Um, all right, play Grom Gully. So go. Hammer time. Thanks for following, Raven. If you haven't followed the stream of that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Mono Blue Tron playing Shark Typhoon. I honestly have no idea. They just kind of play whatever the hell they want, so I have no idea. Honestly. Walking Ballista on two. I mean, that's, I guess, annoying. Mm, sure. It's a thing. Yeah, exile the card. You got it. Understand. All right. Um... So, like, we hmm, get, like, Frog Tosser Munitions Expert and just kill the Ballista. Ballista doesn't break up our combo unless, well, I guess it kind of does. Right now, we're not really close to comboing yet. 
We could just jam ringleader too. We are also just attacking them. Um, but I think I'd rather Frog Doster Expert attack for six and have a cheaper ringleader next turn than just ringleader this turn. Because if they play, if they play Tron, they can like pump the Blista a few times. It doesn't really matter either. Um, yeah, I think we should have Frog Doster. And we're gonna kill the uh, we're gonna kill the um the ballista too. I think. I don't really see a reason to hold expert here. We get in for six, which is a pretty significant attack. You know, part of again, what's cool about this deck is that we just have the ability to like play magic, and the combo is kind of incidental. What's up, Jay? Love from Australia. Awesome. Well, car, it's not necessarily that the that the cards are that 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 card isn't good because uh because standard's too powerful. It's just like how constructed works. Like they can make a, a six mana ten ten trample that whenever it deals damage to a player, you draw five cards, and like it, it would not be good enough because you know a six six four five with no effect on the board immediately typically just isn't very playable and constructed. Um, because it, it just gets killed, or wrathed, or bounced, or whatever, you know? So... Um, Karn? Okay. I don't think playing uh, a Cavern on Shapeshifter is necessary. I mean, we definitely double spell sometimes too, but... What are they gonna get here? An artifact for one? Ensnaring Bridge. That's obviously funny. So we're just gonna kill me. I mean, you might just kill me. Anyway, this is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we're one short of killing them. And we could draw a. Uh, I don't know. Some haste goblin or something. A frog tosser would kill them. It's pretty funny. All right, ringleader. Here we go. First ringleader of the day. Matron expert putrid goblin. Pretty good. If the floor collapses in and the stream goes dead, it's been real, y'all. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we're one short of killing them. Um, I think we're just playing Putrid Goblin, and then we can combo next turn. I guess we can't combo next turn. All right, whatever. I doubt that they, unless they have Ugin the Spirit Dragon, which they hopefully don't. Uh, I think we're fine this game. So it's at Karn. Attack them, attack them, attack them. I guess I have a relic in play. So we can't actually combo. Expert can't target players. Uh, so they have three cards in hand and they have Snaring Bridge in hand, which is fine. I guess with a relic in play, we can't actually combo, which is uh, a, a concern. But um, we're just going to play Putrid Goblin and say, we have Sling Gang in our deck too, so. Oh, I have a Frog Tosser, but I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. Uh, whatever. I gotta play the Vile too, it doesn't matter. We just get uh, we just get a Sling Gang next turn and we'll just win the game. They're cracking the Relic, they don't even know what's going on, so they, they crack the Relic anyway, which is weird because they drew a card and they have a Staring Bridge in their hand. So I don't really know what's going on. They're just like Hail Marrying for like Runner Runner Tron Ugin or something. Yeah, Max Burkett of players. Ooh, boy. That would be quite the expert. Expertise. Expertise. They're getting Snapcaster Mage back. Snapcaster Mage is really, really good. That would surprise me. All right, so um, we're going to board a bit here, obviously. Uh, Damping Sphere. I don't even know if Damping Sphere is worth it. Like, they don't even do anything when they get Tron anyway. You know, like... We're going to bring in Trash Master and Crater Maker, I think. And uh, we can probably cut, like, an Expert. And maybe, I don't know. What else can we cut? I 
Like, I'm not sure what this Curry Maker is going to kill, but... Uh, green has not always had card draw. That's a pretty recent development in the last few years. Uh, that card is kind of annoying because it illustrates the problem with green in the last like three or four years where green can literally just do everything. Uh, it just draws cards, it gains life, puts creatures into play. Like, you know, and then poor white is like, Savannah Lion? Destroy target enchantment? Gain three life? You know, like, come on. A model is definitely cute. Well, Harmonize was uh, was color shifted, so like it was not supposed to be like not in theme. Um, all right, uh, I don't know. We're, we're cutting here. Um, we cut like a red cat, maybe. I want the experts. I want the putrid goblins. I want the frog. I want basically everything. Yeah, sure. I think this is fine. Realistically, I'm not really sure what uh they would do because they just play a bunch of weird cards anyway. So. I mean, again, our hand's not very good. Our hand was pretty bad last game. We basically played a draft deck. We had, we had a decent decent curve for a draft deck and killed our opponent. Um, this hand's also not great. We have Cavern of Souls again. I'm just going to keep. We also have two parts of the combo, too. Any sacrifice outlet will uh, get us going. Deck thin. Breaking news today. Mono Blue Tron loses to a draft deck. We'll have more at 11. <laughs> oh, you bastard. All right. Um... We're going to play the Vile, uh, and we're going to have to play a land untapped, I think, because they play Condescend, which is the counter spell where counters pay X. So... I'll just play our Vile and say go. Um, let them crack and get their land, whatever. All right, so they get Urza's Mine. They play Urza's Mine, sure. Uh, definitely possible they have Tron, but again, like, even when they have it, they don't do very much with it, so whatever. Unless they draw, like, their one Ugin or their one Worm Coil or whatever it is. Frog Tosser Banner, right? That's kind of cute. All right, so name Goblin. Laugh at their counter spells. Play Grimgilly. Because they could have, like, they could have Contortion, which would be pretty annoying, but... I don't. I can't see us playing anything but Grumgully this turn. So they have it. They have it. Please don't contort my Grumgully. Grumgully deserves better than that. Thirst for knowledge. God, you gotta love it. Just playing some good, fair magic here. Chalice the Void. Sure, it's not very good against us. All right. Well, there's your. Uh, there's your Tron. They draw one of their boom booms. Could have had unsubstantiate. Yeah, that's true, I suppose. Seven man in the pool. Eight man in the pool. Mind Slaver with two mana left over. Uh and Aether Gust. This is actually hilariously fine. Um, because we have Trash Master and Putrid Cop. <laughs> I guess we can... Um, it would have been a lot better if they didn't Aether Gust us because then we could have actually infinite killed their artifacts. Um, which is hilarious. But... Let's see. What can I... Uh, no, I can't... I mean, I don't want to burn the Persist, honestly. I think we're going to go Frog Tosser off the Vile 
casts Trash Master, cast Putrid Goblin, and sack the Frog Tosser to kill the Mind Slaver. Um, because I uh, I don't want to waste the Persist, because once he persists, we can't um, combo anymore. So... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. If they hadn't Aether Gust, we could have we could have played Trash Master and just like persist for free, which is pretty insane. But all right, so play uh, that, play this, because he's the Trash Man. Yeah, he's the Trash Man. See, if they just played like, you know, Ugin or Karn, you know, but they, they got to play all the cutesy cards in Mono Blue Tron. All right, here it is. Run that back. What you got? Morning, Rope Burn. How's it going, everyone? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Nice early start today. Spreading Seas on Cavern of Souls? James is not happy about that. James is our contractor right now. He's working on our... Uh, He's working on her laundry room. Not happy with that spreading seas. All right, I mean, we're just like coming in here. I mean, we now have two thirds of the combo and well, now we have infinite mana, but unfortunately we don't have anything to do with it at present. That's okay though. It's beaten down, it's beaten down. Cause he's the trash man. Yeah. Alright, we're not gonna play around uh Oblivion Stone or something like that. We're just gonna put our stuff in put our cards in play. Oops. Wild the coddle. Are you gonna condescend my skirt prospector? No, this is game two. We're up a game. I, I mean, I guess it could be main deck spreading because I, I got no idea. I have seen a few of the spoilers. All right, let's go. Just beaten down. Can't stop. All right, they have a bunch of mana. It's a huge ballista. Ballista for five. Henry, we saw. Thanks so much. I mean, this isn't that bad. It's not great, but they're going to shoot Grumgully. Okay. Shoot Grum Gully, okay. Shoot Grum Gully, okay. Alright, and in response to that one, we'll throw Grum Gully at the Ballista. So, they spent 10 mana to kill my Grum Gully. Alrighty then. Nicole and I watched uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective last night. Uh, definitely... A little awkward in spots uh, as an older movie. Some of the older movies don't hold up super well as far as like, you know, uh, homophobia and stuff like that. But um, Jim Carrey's pretty funny. Jim Carrey's pretty funny. All righty then. I should like it. I just, you just, I just, Jim Carrey's just hilarious. Um, all right. So, I mean, we're just killing them. And I guess we're just gonna play this future goblin, and we're gonna beat them with our draft deck because they're just playing mono blue Tron, and they even have Tron. And they've had it for two turns, and we're just playing three threes for two. Yeah, we're really, really showing our age here, playing Command and Conquer and watching Ace Ventura: Pet Detective. Basically, uh, eleven years old. That was pathetic. Uh, you ever wanted a you ever wanted a lesson in why you shouldn't play mono blue Tron? Unless you're just unless you're trying to have fun. It's obviously a fun deck, but. If you're trying to win matches of Magic in Modern, and I, I would not register Mono Blue Tron. We literally just played a draft deck. We played, you know, two twos for two and three threes for three and killed our opponent. 
We didn't do anything. I guess we 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 trash master this game. We got to kill a mind slaver. But like, oh boy, oh boy, laces out, Dan. All right, so one and zero here on Mod Monday. Ten mana to answer a three three. Ten mana. Oh boy. There is no fun in magic, yes. All right, we are on the draw. Our hand is not great. Um, only have two lands, no Aether Vial. Our opponent's playing Lurus, which signifies they're either playing Burn or an interactive deck, so we're going to Mulligan. I guess it could be Boggles, too, but... All right, we'll keep this. We'll ship a Grum Gully. I don't love it, but... No, I agree that the Mono fun. It's fun because the game doesn't end. It keeps playing. Whereas Mono Green Tron is just like, up, oh, you're dead. Up, oh, you're dead. Sorry. A lot of, of non-games of Mono Green Tron because you win, you know? Whereas Mono Blue Tron's like, well, I got this Tron. Let's guess Thirst for Knowledge. Let's guess uh, just a Prowess deck? All right. When do I continue Tiberian Dawn campaign final level? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe like tonight or tomorrow. Um... We got two levels left in the GDI campaign, and uh, that's going to go up on YouTube. Or I've been putting them up on YouTube, which is really fun. So for those who don't know, I've been playing Command & Conquer Remastered. Um, I used to play the game as a kid. I loved Command & Conquer. I loved Red Alert. It was my first like serious game that I played. And um, Command & Conquer Remastered came out a few days ago on my birthday, and that was my birthday present to myself. That's really annoying. Uh, so... Um, I'm playing that on stream. We're playing the uh, just playing the campaigns and stuff. Super casual, super relaxed playthrough, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Putting those up on YouTube. We've uh, we're we got two missions left in the GDI campaign, and it's time for the Nod campaign. Yeah, so they got a pretty good hand here. Uh, they got Suspear on the play, discard spell, Mistress Bobble, double discard spell. Holy cow! Yeah, that's a really good hand. Okay. Uh, Three thousand. Are you uh, one of my usual Magic viewers, or were you someone who just picked up me watching the uh, the, the Command and Conquer stuff? Command and Conquer has PvP. I never even played it before. Like, I don't even know what you would do, what the build orders would be, or like what the meta game would be. Yeah, this is just the the Rakdos Prowess deck I've been playing around for a long time. Uh, obviously, Lurus is, is is different now, so it's a it's a it's changed the deck significantly, but just like Rakdos Prowess plays like eight, eight, four discard spells. Abbot of Kuroki. CNC is your passion? So you're not you're not a magic viewer? Awesome. Ryan, what's up, my friend? It's fun branching out into different games, you know? Kiln Fiend? Oh my god, we're dead. I mean, what a hand. What a hand. Uh, Matron. Alright, I mean... Unfortunately, they have, like, Lava Dart or anything. We're just gonna die. I think I'm just gonna get a Ringleader here. Because, realistically, we gotta gas up a little bit. We don't really got much going on. And the 2-2 blocks the, the Kiln Fiend reasonably well, I guess. We can't really get, like, Expert or anything, because they'll just, uh... I guess I get Red Cap. And then Red Cap the Kiln Fiend? Hmm. Just started doing that. Previously only entertained playing Magic. I didn't want to dedicate time. Oh, playing other games? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, StarCraft's my usual other game, but... Um... I think I like Red Cap here. And then we can, uh, with a red cap in play and a sling gang, I guess. Yeah, red cap, red cap, sling gang, and a combo effect. I'm just concerned that we just, like, they just have a fast clock and disruption. It's like, it seems like a pretty tough matchup. And yeah, red cap kills Kiln Fiend, I guess. It's also a combo piece. You know, once we have the red cap and the sling gang in play, we just need a, a plus one plus one effect. 
Where did I get the list? This is Mog Monday, Ryan. We make our own decks here on Mog Monday. All right, we don't net deck on Mog Monday, except for the days that we, you know, do. But, no, this, this is our list. Yeah, we, we, we made it. I saw a list, like, somewhat, you know, like that, this, that had the idea of it previously, and then I, you know, drew up my own list. All right, Cling to Dust, here it is. The deck's pretty sweet. Uh, we played it uh, once, twice here on Mild Monday. Two good results. All right, yeah, I mean, we're just, like, pretty dead. Seven, eight, nine, yeah, we're just dead. So, yeah, I mean, turn four, we got turn four killed with multiple pieces of interaction. Um, that's a pretty good hand from their uh, their deck there. This That was a pretty... I guess Kiln Fiend isn't really stock, but pretty uh, pretty ideal draw for the the Rakdos uh, prowess deck. Um, so we need to bring in our Tarfire and our Expert. Probably want to shave. Um, I mean, Red Cap's like kind of fine. So it's Sling Gang. We're definitely grinding. Just hit for the frog tossers, maybe. Because they probably have lava dart at their deck, so frog tossers like really, really bad. Yeah, it works for me. And then I don't think I want anything else. You know, usually we're like fines matchups. Because the them slowing down a bit to play discard is like kind of good for us because the burn decks are typically good against us, but yeah, click it us is pretty cool. The one downside to playing, if you want to call it a downside, it could be an upside too to playing Command & Conquer over the last two days is, I have the whole soundtrack stuck in my head constantly. What a soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 pretty, it's uh, mostly upside. I mean, Kill Fiend is just like the kind of card in Modern where like, if your opponent's not interacting, it's the best possible card ever. If your opponent's playing removal spells, it's like the worst possible card ever, you know, so. Or if they have blockers, you know, things like that. All right, going first. Better hand here, better hand. That hand from our opponent really was pretty ideal. All right, uh, we can keep this. We like this, we like this. Plan on playing as much limited with the new set. Um, I'm not sure, Ryan. Honestly, I had a lot of fun playing Ikoria Limited, and with real people drafting on Arena, I'm much more inclined to play uh, to play Limited. Um, just playing on Arena is awesome, so I'll definitely do some drafts. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to play. We'll see how fun the format is. Ikoria specifically was very fun, um, but I could definitely see myself playing a decent amount for sure. Um, we've done well with this deck. In the past, I have not played it in a while, and it's. I was, I was complaining to Nicole that last night how everything has changed so much in Magic in the last like four weeks that YouTube videos I recorded like you know three weeks ago are obsolete like three times over. It's like if I recorded a video before I Coria because I've been putting up some videos um, as of late that were a little older just to, like because I'm doing less content right now. It's like. Why aren't you playing a companion? Wait, why aren't you playing this companion? Wait, they banned this companion in Legacy. Wait, they, they, they changed the companion rule. Wait, they banned... Like, there's so many different... Like, it's changed so much in the last... Um, oh, that was the best possible draw ever. That's so sick. Um, everything just keeps changing so much. You know, it's, it's just wild. So, I have not played this deck in this particular iteration of Modern. Uh, but, um... Oops. It has been good for us in the past. Uh, we've done pretty well with it. So that was an insane draw. Yeah, it's new sets and new this and new that. Like, they really got to just, just take a breath, you know? Yeah, like, the it, the eternal formats keeps, keeps changing so much. All right, so Thoughts Easier isn't great for us. I get to take my, my Matron, I assume. But we're on the board now, and they're not, which is pretty important. So, like, the fact that they were able to play so Spear on turn one that game, we never got to touch it. Kind of sucked, but now uh, things look better. Things look better. Ooh, a one-lander, too. Might just give them the old beatdowns. Okay, or draw Aether Vial. All 
All right, well, once we do draw a matron, um, life's going to be good. So that's as always that. Soul Scar Mage. All right, so you can obviously murderous red cap that, which is pretty cool. So drawing a land here isn't even the worst. Sure. Don't love shocking to do it, but whatever. Playing a draft deck. And now we have our combo in place. All we need to play is a, if we draw a Grum Gully or a Metallic Mimic, we have an infinite damage. Yeah, I do agree that they, like, I think Modern Horizons wasn't necessarily a bad idea, but things have been changing too much, especially the older formats. You know, part of the, why people like Modern so much was that you have your deck, it doesn't really change that much. A new set comes out, maybe you add a card, change a card, but for the most part, you just you buy into your modern deck, and it's good to go for years. And uh, modern ain't like that no more. Modern's changed like 17 times in the last two weeks, or two last. I mean, the last uh, last year, two weeks. What am I talking about? Um, it's pretty insane. And I would say the consensus on it is like people are kind of like, come on, you know. It's fun to add new things, but at the same time, it's also like chill a little bit, take it easy. All right, take a breath. Uh, Your deck live is not open yet. No, we are um, we are in the thick of it as far as getting the house and working on the house. Um, Nicole and I took the last few days off. So it, was my, it was my birthday, but for those who don't know, we just bought a house, kind of fixer upper. You can hear the banging downstairs. That's our contractor rebuilding our laundry room. So have to do our kitchen. Got a couple, we have a few rooms done upstairs, but we have a lot of work to do. A lot of we're painting every room. We're redoing a lot of the house. So. A lot of work to do, and uh, we haven't even moved all our stuff in yet. So, uh, your deck live, unfortunately. This, one, this one's always no. Yeah, it's always no here. And we'll yes on this one. So, we're getting there. Big draw step. Future Goblin. Uh, not quite. So... I think we just jam here, and then we sack the... The thing is, if I sack the red cap for... Damage, we can't combo anymore, but I don't think we need to combo anymore, honestly. Leaf blower, man, it was Chainsaw Man. Our neighbor loves chainsaws and cutting trees. It's funny, actually, we helped him cut a tree down. He had some people over to cut to a tree company to cut down a few trees, and we stopped by, and we actually got their number to cut, to cut down some trees here, but um, they were all like, they cut the tree and they all pulled the tree down, and we helped pull the tree down. It's pretty fun. So the attack here, and if they block an expert, uh, post combat will sack red cap for red and finish off the, the Sysphere. So this is definitely worth it, I think. All right, so deal with damage. Sack red cap for red. Persist and deal one. So we, we no longer have the ability to combo, but they're at five. We have four creatures in play, so I think that's fine, you know? But yeah, Chainsaw Guy is super happy. There's tons of logs, cut up trees in his yard. I'm sure he's going to have a great time cutting those all up. Just another Mog Monday. Fetch land go to four. Man. The ambition. Definitely, uh, Luris certainly got powered down in this deck um, with the new companion rule. Uh, this was like possibly the best deck in modern for a while uh, before they changed the companion rule. Um, obviously, now Luris is much, much worse. All right, we draw a Mog War Marshal. Not too shabby. I mean, attack for a million. Like, I don't know what the... Uh, what they're planning on doing here? They have like lava or something? Sure. Are they gonna sacrifice a land? They just drew a second land. It's turn, it's turn seven. They've been on one land for six turns. And fatal push might persist goblin? Sure. 
And they're going to be real mad. You play this Mog War Marshal. Um, I don't think Season Pyromancer is good in this deck at all. But Bedlam Reveler is good. But it is certainly awkward with the uh, Cling to Dust card. And uh, honestly, I like Abbot of Carol Keep. The card's super sweet. All right, so that game was obviously pretty wonky. Uh, they just kept the one lander. They cast a lot of spells, but yeah, I mean, I mean Luris is kind of just like a I'm flooding. I'm gonna play Luris instead of just like should I cast Luris on turn three kind of card. I do like the companion change a lot, um, although I don't like that it's it doesn't really power down Yorian that much. Um, definitely like the change overall for sure. Something needed needed to be done for sure. All right, this hand's actually pretty good. Um, we have a kill spell for a prowess creature. We have some grindy cards, and we've got some lands. So we're definitely going to keep this. Yeah, Luris is still good. Um, it's just like not. It's it's a, a thing to do when you're flooding now. You know, it's not a not a card you can just cast for free, basically. All right, so we're just going to uh, tar fire up here on the Zispear, which feels ph phenomenal. Fight, win, prevail. Fight, win, prevail. Another one-lander, huh? When will they learn? Ooh. Um. I mean, we might mimic is just like definitely gonna die. Fatal push, lava dart, lightning bolt, etc., etc., etc. We're just gonna play Mod War Marshal here. Play our Marshal, get our block in, set ourselves up, try and combo in one turn. You know, we'll see. Seal of fire, sure. Now I've seen fire and I've seen rain. Alright, uh probably just gonna get a ringleader, honestly. Just keep grinding. Um Soul Scar counters persist. Oh like if they kill the goblin, yeah. Alright, um, yeah, I'm just going to Matron for Ringleader. Just going to gas up a little bit. We could get Red Cap. Um, I guess they... No, that would be bad. Because, yeah, they then they can seal a fire the Red Cap in response. The minus one, minus one counters. Then last information would do, deal, deal zero damage. Never mind. Not going to do that. That would be embarrassing. Just going to gas up. See how many metallic mimics and aether vials we can hit off our ringleader, you know? Pawn says, wow. I think that signifies they didn't draw land. So they seem unhappy that they have uh, been missing some land drops here. Munitions expert? That's pretty good. Um, all right. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Could definitely just cast Ringleader. We can kill a Soul Scar Mage, but like I don't think we're really under any, any pressure or duress to do so. Let's just uh, let's just cast Ringleader. We're also attacking for five. All right, so we find Expert Grumgully and Prospector, which is a pretty good Ringleader. And uh, now we're real gassed up. All right, well, definitely probably not a great matchup for us, but they didn't play a second land ever. So we'll take it. 2 0. 2 0 here on my mind. Every folks, streams brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com. 
Number one source for your game shopping needs, and uh, check this out. Introducing CoolStuffInc.com. I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Check this out. You ready? Introducing CoolStuffInc.com Live Buys. This unique service makes it safe and easy to sell your cards and minis. Using any variety of video chat services, we'll review your collection in a live appraisal. Check out CoolStuffInc.com slash buy list for more information. Pretty cool. You can video chat. Just sell your magic cards. Just like you're at a, you're at, you're at a, a Grand Prix selling your cards to a dealer. Personal communication. Check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. Also, my article goes up today. My video article. And uh, you're not going to miss that one. Really, really fun deck. 37 lands in Historic. It's a Turbo Land deck. Super, super cool. Check that one out. Coolstuffinc.com later today. All right, so decent hand. Um, no killer yet. A lot of filler, but pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so we'll just, uh, I guess we'll cavern here. Really, the secret's going to be out either way, so. The problem DMT is if you play, a, you can't play a five drop and construct it that doesn't affect the board in any way. Um, your opponent will just kill it or bounce it or whatever and then beat you. It, you know, it's. The bar is pretty high for a, a, a five drop. Does it affect the board? The card is busted if it stays in play, obviously. But All right, we have a lot of anti hobbles. It's funny actually because we don't draw any goblins. Like if you don't draw, don't draw goblins, you can't cast spells anyway, right? So, um, all right, we're gonna play uh, our putrid goblin, and we're gonna say go here. Triome is pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know what deck plays Triomes, but uh, we were 2-0 and so far. 2-0 and here on Mog Monday, playing uh, Combo Persist Goblins. Planes, okay. Petty Theft, my Aether Vial? That is mean. What? A jerk. Um, so I want to like leave up expert, but not reveal it. But I can't really do that unless I shock off blood crypt, which feels pretty awful. Um. Well, Lemon, that, that's been... A 6-6 six, six with no effect on the board for 5 hasn't been playable and constructed for a really long time. Even like a long back of a day. Like, your card's got to affect the board, you know? I guess Bane Slayer doesn't really, doesn't really affect the board, kind of. But White's different because you can control the game and then play it. Uh, but... What do we do here? Like, maybe I should have played by my hovel on turn one and just reveal one of my goblins. This is so awkward. Um, right, whatever. We're just going to reveal it. I don't really see a, a good way to have it available. Like, if we if we shock, we're basically revealing it anyway. Or as well as if we shock. Like, what else can we have there? So... Oh, if 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 that trigger was a comes into play comes into play trigger, not a attack or block trigger, yeah, then, then the card's insane, obviously. But Hold Fountain tapped go. Stop. Hammer time. Yeah, we're really uh we're really looking for something to do here. I 
The card will see play, but it's not as good as it looks. It looks like, you know, like, oh my god, how could they even print this? But... Really don't know what they're doing. It feels like they're playing, we're playing a cube draft so far. They're going to bounce my Aether Vial again? Oh, what a jerk. All right. Brazen Borrower dot deck. Celestial Colonnade. Okay. Go on. Well, now we have infinite mana, but that doesn't really, like, help us, I guess. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. Couldn't even tell you. Um, I do know I'm going to cast... Grumgully. I guess we're not going to risk um, making mana because they bolt the Grumgully. Obviously, it's bad for us, but... So if we have infinite mana right now, but obviously there's nothing to do with it, so we're not really in a rush to do anything yet. I think taking down... I guess we actually are, we are taking an expert because we can't fetch a black because we only have our one blood crib in our hand, so it's kind of awkward, but I can't imagine we'll need to cast expert this turn, so... All right, I mean, obviously Brazen Borrower has almost no effect on this board at all, and we have an expert in play, so... And that means we're not getting verdicted, probably, too, so... Sure. Sure. There's an interesting article that compares Moldrifters to Baneslayers. See, I, I'm a Moldrifter person. I have always, back when Blain Slayer and Moldrifter were, were both legal and standard, give me a Moldrifter all day, every day. I want cards that get value. And I, I always didn't like the design of Bane Slayer Angel. The, the design of Bane Slayer Angel is very modern magic design. Very like, just put a bunch of stats on a mythic and if it stays in play, the game ends. And if you kill it, you feel awful. Um, that's like modern magic design to a T. Um, I don't like that. I don't like cards that just end the game in two turns if you can't kill them. Um... And, uh, but I like, you know, I want, I want to draw cards and keep playing and stuff. That's just me. I'm old and cranky, I guess. Don't have a bolt, please. Cool. All right. Um,. So, like, obviously we can expert the Jace and just attack them. And they clearly don't seem to have a bolt, because they would definitely have done it while I was tapped out. It makes no sense not to. Um, definitely not drawing super well this game, but... Yeah, so that article was a really good look at why Euro's a problem. It's if it's a Baneslayer Angel and a Moldrifter at the same time, and card shouldn't be like that. It's usually, it should be one or the other. It was evoked a decent amount of the time. Probably, depending on the deck. Let's play with the card Revelark a lot. Mentor, that's always been magic design. Like. Alright. I mean, I guess we just, like, attack Jace. And if they do have a kill spell, we just expert it. Pretty happy just like holding on to expert because we don't even know what's going on yet, so. Hmm. 
just say go. I mean, like, they're at seven. I don't really know what's happening. We have a 2-2 in our hand, and it's 2-2 at Terminate in our hand. And they have some Brazen Borrowers, so... They fetched an, a plains and a mountain. Okay. Feels like it's a verdict or bust here. And even if they have verdict, we just have like three power coming at them. Jace again? It, okay, sure. Well, the, the point of our deck is not to make infinite mana. That's sort of just like an incidental combo. Um, ideally, we'd have Prospector, Grumgully, and uh, Redcap. Or we would have a Sling Gang. Um, the infinite mana can be used if you're, if you're spell heavy and land light to go Matron and get, and get stuff and do it that way. Um, but it's definitely not a necessary part of the combo. It's, this is sort of incidental we have infinite mana right now. Like we're not playing Banefire or something like that. Would Vile be okay in Historic? I mean, I'm going to say yes, obviously. You know, but that's just me. I understand what you're saying about, you know, Bane Slayer, like Chupacabras are annoying with the whole, the whole P-Sully rant. I just think Bane Slayer, like, is a card that literally ends the game in two turns and you can't beat it. Unless you have a way to kill it, or you're doing something crazy. And, like, that's just, like, too much for me, you know? Like, the card's just totally unbeatable for some decks. All right, activating Aether Vile. Still have basically no idea what's going on. And if they had a kill spell, they would have cast it last turn, so we would have needed to draw two kill spells off of this, uh, this Jace the Mind Sculptor. Talk. Hook's afraid of a kicking cock. Alright, so they drew multiple removal spells, but they're somehow they're scared of they're scared of something here. I guess if I had like spike shot goblin I could kill them or something like that, but like whatever. I mean I don't really know what's going on, but I mean, now we're going to just play this and kill Jace so we still get 2-2. Two -two. They've wasted a removal spell, which is great. Um, and then we just F6 all this, take that, put this into play. They're at 7, so they're going to 1. Frog Tosser Banneret off the top rope. No. Love to see burn spells that do normally rated damage to creatures, but more to walkers. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I think that, like, putting the word Planeswalker on more cards is a really good idea. Um, just having things that are incidentally good against Planeswalkers, for sure. Not like... Like, it shouldn't be, like, a goblin guy, but it, like, deals four to a Planeswalker. Like, it shouldn't be that good, but, like... I think having that extra oomph to keep Planeswalkers in check is a really good idea. I wrote an article about that a while ago. You can look that one up. All right, more beatdowns. We haven't actually comboed yet, but that's kind of the cool things. We don't need to combo, you know? But definitely a weird uh, weird deck there. I don't really know what they were uh, what they were up to. Brazen Borrower, Brazen Borrower, Jace, Jace, Bolt, Bolt were the spells they played that game. Don't know what to tell you. I am going to cut the, uh, the old frog tossies, I think. They're probably a little too low impact. Um, I don't think I want Thoughtseize. Like, what's up, Atlantic? Are Slivers still a thing? I mean, they exist. Uh, they're like a fringe playable deck in Legacy and Modern.
Jace, it's a very good idea, and I, I plan on doing that when I read you my stuff, um, which is hashtag soon. So I appreciate that, Jace. Thank you for the feedback. Feedback is real important. Yes, Fastmaster, the contractor was here at 7 a.m., so you can hear him right now banging away downstairs. Um, I, mean, I don't hate a card like Icon, which just like grinds okay, but like I don't even know what I want here, honestly. We could bring in Thoughtseize, but like... I guess I'll bring in Thoughts these. I'm not really sure what they're doing. We'll leave, leave Expert out. And we'll cut, like, maybe a Prospector. That's part of the combo, I guess. Cut a land on the draw. That's probably greedy. Uh, I guess we'll cut another Expert. I'm going to cut a Red Cap, actually. Red Cap's a little clunky. What's up, Aiden? One red, deal three to a creature, or five to a Planeswalker? Sure. I don't think we want Icon, um, but I'm not really sure what they're doing yet. So, like, like, they could be, like, a Geist of Saint draft deck, for all I know. It's like playing Brazen Borrower and your control deck's really weird. So, like, I don't want to be going all in on a card like Icon, and, like, they just, like, you know, Geist me on turn three, and we're like, ah. So... Right, double vials, obviously pretty good. Um, all right, that was, that was a really good draw. I like, wasn't sure if I was in a shock or not, but now we just can get a thing. Just another mug Monday. I guess I got a cavern and then played vial. Yeah, I, should, I screwed up. I should have just played cavern and then uh, played vial on two with the, and fetched a duel, probably, but whatever. Now the uh, the table saw is out. Can you hear that? Okay. Uh, yeah, Yorian is the companion that benefited from the change by far the most for the companions. Um, before coffee, awesome, Aiden. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. So we're like we're ready to rock and roll over the next few turns. I mean, we are like. We got it all here. We're ready to grind. Uh, nice uh, counter spells and stuff, you know. No brazen borrowers on my vials this time. It's nice. Appreciate that. Going up, going up. Putrid goblin, sure. Um, so this is a like this is a hand where infinite mana would be useful because we have a lot of stuff to do, but not a lot. You know, we could go like we could in theory go. Matron for Prospector, put in Prospector, put in Goblin, play Grumgully, Infinite Mana, cast Ringleader, and stuff like that. But like, that's just a little a little much, I think. I don't think we need to really do that. Um, I think we're just gonna cast Grumgully though. We can also just Matron for a Ringleader. I think Grumgully gets bolted, you know, it kind of feels bad, but. Alright, I think we're just going to play Grumgully. We, we, we haven't comboed once yet, honestly. It's just like the way the games have played out, we just haven't needed to. Aiden, I mean, something needed to be done by companions. They were they were way too good, and I think that missing uh, on the, you know, the safe side is definitely a place to miss. When they printed them, they obviously missed too much on the, uh, on the um, the risky side. You know, like let's just play it safe with the fix and just do it once. You know, I am a little surprised with the fix. Definitely is a, a different fix than I expected. You know, I have a video on that on my on my YouTube where I explain why and stuff, but. All right, so they're going to bolt my Grum Gully, sure. The thing is also that, like, you really can't, um, you really can't make a fix, have it not be good enough, and then make another fix. People's heads will just explode, you know. 
like players who open Ikoria packs who are casual players, it's not easy to know about the fix, you know? It's somewhat easy, but... All right, uh, where do you go? Up, up. I think the first thing we're gonna do is just cast Ringleader. Another vial? Ugh. Yeah, we're just gonna cast Ringleader. Doubling down on new companions is like such a drastic change to the game though, and like it would take so long to print enough that would be, you know, to make it a reasonable mechanic. Activate the vial on one. Yeah, Patty, you're right. That's that's what I, that's what you should do. Those type of like really tight plays are really hard to do when I'm streaming and talking. Uh, but you're right. We should have vial on one, see if we can bait the bolt, and then we need to vial on two, which is pretty great. That's a definitely a cute play. All right, so kind of a whiskey here. We have Thoughtseize, just part of the downside of bringing Thoughtseize in, um, which kind of sucks, but... Yeah, it, it, did, it did a very good job on Arena making it clear, but... Yeah, Companion's a kind of mechanic where there would need to be 100 of them, and they would need... Maybe, I mean, 50. We'll say 50. Like, 50 of them... And they all need to be exceptionally balanced. Like, I think Obosh, if Obosh was a 3-3 three, three or a 3-4, is, like, where you wanted to be on with a companion. Maybe even worse than that, though, because you can't have them be so be so ubiquitous. Um, there needs to be a lot of them. Um, I don't recall... I was playing when, when Planeswalkers were printed. I don't recall much backlash beyond the usual, like, Magic players just complain about everything stuff. Maybe they should have had 151 companions. Got to catch them all. Definitely an interesting league. Um, we comboed a ton when we played this deck previously. Um... And we just haven't really needed to these games. Also, the way these games have played out, like, we're not going to try and combo in the face of, you know, five mana, four cards. We're just going to keep playing grinding, which is kind of cool. We can do that. You know, um, part of the allure of uh, of this deck is that we can just grind, but also combo. Like, you know, unlike regular goblins, if our opponent does something crazy or they're going to combo kill us, we can't, and we can't grind, we can just kill them, so... All right, so we're not going to fetch because we have three non-goblins at the bottom of our deck, so... No, we, we played the Hellkite Overlord deck. That was, like, the first version of his deck. It was kind of like a meme. But then I built a real, a real version out of it. All right, we'll play Ringleader. I mean... Prospector, War Marshal. Not great. Another Thoughtseize, too. So really getting punished for bringing in Thoughtseize, unfortunately. Um... Dragon. Yeah, honestly, I think they really nailed it with the original Planeswalkers. Um, the original Planeswalkers were all just, like, exquisitely balanced. They're powerful, but not too powerful. Like, they killed it on the original Planeswalker designs. They absolutely killed it. Alright, so like, they're just tapping our team and saying go. I mean, I don't really want to add more to the board. Uh, I think we just play a vial and just say go. Yeah, they, they are playing kind of weird. I don't really know what's going on, honestly. What's up, MK? All right, I mean, what's up, weird chess guy deck? Liliana Vest was, was a little bad, but I, I don't think that, like, you know, Liliana Vest and Chandra being a little too weak is bad. You know, like, it's fine. You know, Garrick was, Garrick was one of the most played cards in Standard. Jace was obviously great. Ajani was very good. You know, 
Could they have turned the knob a little bit on Chandra and Liliana? Yeah, sure. But they weren't, they didn't overshoot the mark. You know, they, they hit it, they came in pretty good. You know, which is usually weird because, like, typically they come in too high. You know, they make vehicles, oopsie, smuggler's copter. They make equipment, oopsie, skull clamp. You know, like, so. I mean, people discussing companions in chat about verifying your deck, it's just like a non, what you're saying is it doesn't make sense. Like, it's just the same thing as me playing five lightning bolts in my burn deck. You would never know most of the time. If I get deck checked, I'm banned from magic forever. Like, you know, like just how it is, this is how it works. All right, so they're going to Mystic Sanctuary back, Lightning Bolt. Sure. They have a Wrath here too. I mean, that'd be pretty good. I guess. I mean, so. We're going to crack Peter Land in response. Foothills. All right, this is fine, I guess. Definitely not. I mean, they kind of like just killed one or two cards, basically, but. Lure seeing main board play in Modern? I have not played. It's my first time playing Modern since the, the ban announcement, so. Uh. Alright, so. We have. Always no. Stop. Hammer time. Drums. Drums in the deep. They are coming. All right. Uh, red cap. I mean, that's a magic card, I guess. All right. Fly, you fools. So, I mean, I guess we're just playing Mog War Marshal and then just saying go because we can vile everything else. Yeah, I guess we're just doing that, alright? So, play War Marshal, make a token. Is Chess Guy good again? I would say. No. So like we have they're at eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. They just drew a bolt too, which is like pretty bad for us. Our opponent's playing a deck from like nineteen ninety five. What is going on? Elspeth Knight Errant? What year is it? They have a bolt in their hand, which is annoying, obviously. So... Alright, so... We're going to... play cards. Uh, I think we're gonna like red cap the token. I would like to play the expert off of the cavern of souls to ensure it kills Elspeth. Um, also, we'll see what they bolt to, so. Yeah, we're going to have the Obi-Wan. Now that's a name I haven't learned in a long time as the uh, as the, uh, the the effect clip for that. It's going to be an effect and everything. We'll get there, folks. Trust me, I really want to be able to do all that stuff. 
just get going on it. All right, so we're going to echo our Mog War Marshal, which is my favorite thing to do in all of Magic. All right, Vile's on two, three, and four. Echo. Thoughtseize. Uh, that works too. So we Thoughtseize, they Bolt, we Expert. Yeah, Elspeth the Knight Errant does feel like a worse version of... Uh, of Gideon, Allies, and Dakar. If they're playing Elspeth, though, they are 110% a Geist of St. Draft deck. Bolt targeting me? Okay. That's, that's Bolt. We have Helix, too. Lightning Helix, oh my god! Alright, I mean... Sure... So, they've got nothing left. They have Elspeth, Colonnade, and they're gonna, they think they're going to try and kill us, I guess? We could save Expert for Colonnade and attack Elspeth. We're going to do that. So, let's attack Elspeth with everything, and we'll stack them for one, and we'll leave Expert available for Colonnade. Cause that, that looks like their plan. They're just trying to try and Colonnade us twice, so... Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely playing Geist Saint Draft. This is like this is like a Geist Saint Draft chess guy deck, not like a oh, they're playing Mystic Sanctuary too. I don't even know. Here it comes. Fired up. Fired up. So we do this at the B beginning of combat step, so they have to tap it for mana. Can't attack with it. Oh no, another copy of Celestial Colonnade. Alright, I mean like, a lot of spells here are pretty good. That's not one of them. We have, we have like, 11 draws there to deal infinite damage. Um... Alright, well, I mean, I'll say if they have exactly Boros Charm, uh, we're dead. Definitely exactly Boros Charm. I don't think Helix does it. Their Stoneforge Mystic deck. Okay. Sure. So they can block a 2-2 two, two and take 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, they're, they're still exactly dead. Uh, yeah, so... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they're dead. We can sack our red cap and persist it to deal the remaining point of damage. We are fortunate because we are dead to the colonnade. So, I mean, I like their play going upstairs. It definitely gave them the best chance to win, probably. Mm, yep. All right, go to one. Sack for red. Persist. Not how we were planning on dealing lethal with red cap, but, you know. Okay, we, we were drawing to the combo there for like four turns of like half our deck. 
That's a, a mild exaggeration. But, um, all right, no combo kills yet. We're still 3 0, though. Remember, folks, you brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. BCW Supplies, number one source for all your game supply needs. The best sleeves in the market, the Elite 2 deck guard sleeves, best deck boxes, best binders, best inner sleeves. It's all there. BCWsupplies.com. Promo code Jim10, 10% off your order. Go buy some card sorting boxes. Go buy the card sorting tray. Go buy some binders. Sort your collection. You're in quarantine. Go do it. BCWsupplies.com. Check it out. Again, promo code Jim10. Card sorting tray is awesome. Check it out. Of course, Cardboard Live. The overlay you see on stream right now, if you're a content creator, you got to use Cardboard Live. If you're a streamer, please email James. Get in the beta. Just go to Cardboard.live or check him out on Twitter. And uh, that's the overlay you see right now with the deck list and stuff. Cardboard Live's the bomb. Check it out. Cardboard.live. No Mjolnir. Mjolnir is packed up in a box somewhere, unfortunately. All my stuff is packed up in boxes. Is that red cap lethal the closest we got into combo? I mean, we had infinite mana one game, but like didn't need it for anything. So, all right. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty fair hand, but sure we can keep this. Definitely on the play. Do love me some mod war marshal. Only playing one, but March to see says finally took your advice and sorted my collection. Takes up four three row boxes and one four row box. Sweet. And Stage Manda says, you looked it up, those Elite 2 sleeves are a good deal. Yes. Best sleeves in the market and like a number of dollars cheaper than the competition, like Ultimate Guard and, and all that crap. All right, so just get stomping ground. Took you six hours to sort your entire collection? Wow. Yeah, I got to sort my stuff. John's been helping, actually. John likes sorting cards. It's pretty useful. The katana sleeves are heinously overpriced. Um, they're fine, but they're unbelievably expensive. All right, that's pretty annoying, but sure. So, like, we'll see what kind of deck they're playing right now. I mean, they might... I don't know why they fetch Swamp. But... No companion, no information there. Tonnage are like, I don't know, 13 bucks a pack or something like that. BCW sleeves are $8 a pack. And if you buy a five pack of my promo code, you can get it for less than $6 a pack. You buy the whole box, buy the, buy the box of five packs of sleeves, put it in your closet, your magic cards, and don't buy sleeves the next six months. Saves you, saves you a ton of money. Mod War Marshal is a selection. Interesting. Zephyr. Resub. Month number two, most important month. Thanks so much. I doubt we're playing this expert, but there you know we have it. So might as well play the hobble. So if they play like a bob or something, we can kill it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to play paper magic, so the sleeves are, you know, you resleeve your cube. Croxa. Alright, so we'll ship the, the mountain here, I suppose. Take the three damage. On the chin, just want to make sure we can get Ringleader off. Because they took War Marshal, I'm pretty scared they have a second discard spell, but... Playing over webcam, that's true too. Alright, so... Drawing land, land, after getting Thoughtseize is not ideal, but... Everyone say a prayer, please. We don't, we don't get Thoughtseize next turn. We did it! We're alive! This is great. So, each player discards. We get to plop off the territory. They discard Maelstrom Pulse. And we can kill Ileana here. We can just expert the ringleader attack. We're going to do that. They only have two cards left, so... Legion, what's up? Liana the Veil. Sorry, Luris. You got nerfed. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Ooh, little money, tiny money. Not great money. Very poor.
Suppose we don't answer Croxa super well, but... Like one fetch line, they can cast Croxa, and it, we're actually... We're not like cold to it, but like it kind of sucks. All right, no fetch land, no fetch land. Blood Brain Elf into Ren and Six. Ugh. That's pretty gross. So I think that, that the, the combo version of our deck is definitely worse than regular goblins against this. I mean, I guess this actually isn't that bad. We should kill the Blood Brain Elf and then kill the Ren and Six. But then, then they can Croxa, which is which is bad. So Alright, so we'll keep the Peter Land to discard to Croxa. So Oh, I can't cast Croxy, you're correct. You're correct. I don't know if killing Prospector was right there. I probably would have just plus the Blood Braid off and got back Bloodstained Mire. Then you could just fetch a, a red source for Croxa, and the, the Red Insects probably lives too. I think that was pretty uh pretty sketch. Alright, well if you draw a Prospector, I, I guess we actually win the game with Prospector in play, but alright. Let it kill Ringleader, sure. If we draw a Scarf Prospector, they're dead. Nope, we drew Grum Gully instead. Would I rather have or have a four four Grum Gully, I guess? Well no, no I think I actually have rather have a three three and a, and a three two. Because Bolt Ren Six deals with a, a four four or me attempting to cast. Actually wait no it doesn't. You need to kill the mimic, mimic first. Yeah, well, I want a four four. And they're F6 anyway, so. Grom Gully. Alright, well. Uh, any sacrifice outlet is an infinite kill. Although, we probably should have killed him with damage again. Push the Mimic, sure. Play Tarmogoyf. Alright, so. Any matron, sling gang, prospector is lethal. Frog tosser banneret, not lethal. Alright, so let's draw off of our Peter land. Prospector, expert, also not lethal. Um, make it to attack. And they just block, I just ping them for ping them for two, which is kinda cool, so. Actually I could just kill the Tarmogoyf, right? That's even better. So it deals two, persists, comes back, deals two again, and then I expert. Yeah, I like that a lot. I should even better. All right, you're up. Two thousand followed. You've like subbed and stuff before. Is that a new name or something, or a slightly different version of your name? Lightning bolt, my expert. Yeah, right. All righty then. It's a funny movie. All right, uh, yeah, we're just going to uh, play our cards and kill them, I guess, because they're not doing anything. <laughs> Got them on the ropes. It wasn't 
Lethal. Lethal was only eight. Oh, there's the combo kill. Come on. Come on. All right. Um, so we got a sideboard. And uh, we're going to bring in our relics. Got to board a lot here. Bring in our icons. Now, they're not playing Lurus. So they could have Plague Engineer, which is really not cool. We're bringing in Tarfire and an Expert. And we're going to take out uh, the Frog Tossers. Now, taking out Prospector is weird, because normally I take out three Prospectors um, when I'm playing the fair version of Goblins. Um, but we're a combo deck, so it's like part of our combo. Uh, I don't even know how reliably we can combo against them anyway. Got the mimics maybe? This makes our ringleaders worse. Two thousand. Well, I'm happy to have you back, right, my friend. Uh, we're bringing in. I mean, this is just two goblins for two goblins. That part's easy. And now we're bringing in a bunch of non-goblins. I think we cut the experts. I mean, the mimics. I mean. Um. And we're going to be a little less combo focused because realistically they're just playing a deck full of kill spells and discard spells, so comboing is going to be very difficult. Um, so I don't mind just uh, playing it straight up. I'm going to create a maker too. Let's shave like a red cap. I might shave a land too, actually. I think it should be a prospector. I want Creator Maker to kill a uh, to kill a uh, plague engineer also. So right, let's try this. I'm not really sure, honestly. I have not played against like classic Joan with this deck, so. All right, it's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Yeah, Sack for sure. Icon's my my tech card against Plague Engineer and Renin Six. Point Mulligans to six, sure. Have my little snack here. Have some breakfast. Our kitchen's not done. It's not even close to done. So we've been living basically on frozen pizza and uncrustables for the most part. It's not a bad life, you know. Uncrustables are unhealthy as hell. What are we gonna do? I mean, we don't got a kitchen, you know? Thank you for not running six in me and playing and going into my expert. Life's good.
Hmm. Interesting. So they mulliganed. A couple glyphs. Probably a... Probably a bolt. Our hand's pretty great, so... If we're feeling super frisky, we could... Sack expert for red and just cast ring later. Um, if we're scared of like getting thought seized or whatever. Our cost level is really that sugary. Yeah, they are pretty sugary, honestly. I mean, what are we gonna do, you know? If they had Thoughtseize, they would have cast it. I'm, I'm playing around them drawing Thoughtseize. You know? Um, also possible, like, Plague Engineer, too. Um, frame Weeder now, but I can Sling Gang next turn. I play Marshall and they play a Plague Engineer also. Holy God, that's bad for us. I'm going to go for it. I think. Not sure if this is right or not, but... I am so smart. I am so smart. SMRT. Um, unfortunately, we have to discard a hand size. But it could be worse, I guess. Um, we can discard. I kind of want everything. I mean, we're assuming they have a bolt. Because we have, like, the combo. Maybe it's Matron, honestly. Because we've got to have everything already anyway. This Putrid Goblin is... Also live with Grumgully if they tap out for something. Yeah, I'm gonna discard the matron. So now yeah, we have like we have all of our combos lined up. Um and if they tap down on if they go like land Bloodbraid Elf here or cast Liliana or something, they just tap out for something, we just kill them. Um which is cool. We can go Grumgully, Sack Ringwinder for red, play Putrid Goblin, make infinite mana, play red cap, make infinite damage. Obviously, we don't have to do that. We're up, you know, we're up multiple cards on them. We can just like play Sling Gang and play War Marshal and play Putcher Goblin and just keep attacking them and stuff too. So they're really in the ringer right now. We're ahead on cards and combo stuff. So that's aggressive. Hey, if the stream side missed another viewer, right? Coligan's command. Okay. Well, that means they're not dead. Yet. Uh, unclaimed territory, so... Yeah, we're like we're like a mana short of killing them. We could go matron, prospector, play prospector, sack the matron of the ring leader, play war marshal, sack for three red, and we're like one short. So 
I think we're just going to uh, Sling Gang here. Just act for two and Sling Gang. Also, it's Sling Gang in play. We can play Grumgully and Putra Goblin and win the game that way, too. So, um, pretty happy just playing Sling Gang and saying go. We're also at 13, too, so... up, Tarmogoyf. Aggressive. All right, we're going to block with a goblin and throw it at them. Typically, like, we're kind of the control deck in the matchup, and I don't want to get cheesed out with, like, you know, a Goyf hit, a couple lightning bolts, so... All right, sure. They bolt the Sling Gang. We'll stack that, too. Not a problem. What's up, uh, Pi? We'll say Pi. Happy to have you, my friend. All right. They got black, black up. Uh, four cards in end. Scavenging ooze. Don't play land. All right. I think we can kill them. So, Matron, Prospector, Sack, Matron, Ringleader, Goblin. No, I think we're one short again. One short again. God. So, we don't have enough. Wait, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Matron, Prospector, play Prospector. Sack for red, red, red. Tap the last land for green. I'm sorry, play Mar Marshall. Oh, I think we're one short again. Oh, no, we're not. Yeah, I think we're one short again. God. I think we're one short again. So we can go tap three lands, play Matron. Tap one land. So we need a red and a green. I'm sorry, a green and a black for Putrid Goblin. Uh All right. Is there anything else we can do? I mean, we can't just like red cap the scavenging you use attack for 3. It just really isn't that bad. Um One more time. Tap three, Matron. Tap one, Prospector. Sack for three red. Tap a green, Grum Gully. My brain dead. Oh, it's like, I think maybe I'm wrong. Prospector and Matron in play. Sack one, two, three red. Play Grim Gully with one mana up. Can't do that. If I play War Marshal, so I have four total. War Marshal brings it to five total. Grim Gully, yeah. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna red cap. Always one short, always one short, you know? So, we'll just keep attacking. I mean, we're still ahead on cards and damage and board, so. Yeah, if they don't kill my, 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 my right cap, we've got it next turn, yeah. Like, so. They're also just at seven. 
I feel like we've been like a little bit short every game in this league. You know, we're always like, ah, oh, one card short, one card this, one card that. But we're also just winning, so it's like not that bad. And like part of it is if they focus on stopping the combo, we can just kind of beat them. All right, that's annoying, but sure. At this point, we can just like mate for sling gang and just kill them. So like, Tarmogoyf, sure. Parma Gizzle. Oh, that wasn't bad. Like, I guess they didn't do much in the first early turns. They went like land, land Tarmogoyf. But. They're debating attacking here. They're moving to attack position. If we draw Prospector, yes, we win. I think that, uh, actually I boarded out Mimic, so I can't draw Mimic. Or we'll just draw Sling Gang, whatever, it's fine too. Lieutenant? Lieutenant? First we'll show you how dead you are. Then... You have my permission to die. All right, four and zero, oh. Mog Monday. Let's go. Who's pumped for the for the possible trophy here? A little trophy talk. Gonna jinx it. Mog Monday. Going for the trophy. Haven't come. Haven't comboed once. Haven't comboed once. Oh, let's do this. Let's let's like turn four of them two games in a row. If we do that, that'd be pretty sweet. That's uh, pretty sweet. Sling Gang is really good. We're also just kind of like a Sling Gang deck to just play Sling Gang and kill your opponent, you know? This is just the optimal Goblins list. Who needs to combo? Yeah, basically. Bant Yorian? Why would that be a hard matchup? Alright, so... Not a great hand. Uh, only two lands, no vial. We do have a mimic. This hand's pretty. I think we're mulligan this hand. This hand just seems pretty bad. Like on the. I don't even know if I keep this in the play. I was in a mulligan. It's that little discipline here. Well, it's not great, but at this point we're just keeping. So ship of a mountain. Temple Garden. Temple Garden tapped go. Interesting. Very interesting. Copper Line Gorge. What is this? Smuggler's Copter. Whatever they're doing, I like it. Whatever they're doing, I'm all about it. Uh... That was my thought too. Are they playing? Are they playing N Naya Winona Rider? That'd be hilarious. They should go like Rabble Master next turn, Crew Copter next turn, Winona steal all my lands. I I respect that. That'd be a good way to go. I'm also intrigued. All right. Well, we got a little frog tosser friend. They play our album master, we can kill it with red cap. Season Pyromancer. That's basically the same thing. Plot twist. They turn for us both games. Discarding Voice of Resurgence and Wooded Foothills. I have no idea what's going on. No idea. Couldn't tell you. Smuggler's Copter loot. Discard a land. Alright. 
I, I guess, sure. I mean, I guess we kill the Pyromancer. That's pretty cute. You could play Winona and then crew the Copter if they are playing Winona. Getting Red Cap in play is also a big step towards comboing, too. So we'll just get... We're just going to do that. I guess I'll just fetch. We're definitely getting all of our land stolen by Asian Treachery next turn. Tetsu, Risa, five months. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right. I mean, I guess don't play Winona on me and steal my lands because that would suck. Copter makes sense in that deck too, because you can discard your cards you draw you don't want. We're getting we're gonna get one known out of this league. 4 0 in our league, lose to a standard deck. It's gonna be great. Uh it's gonna be great. Why couldn't Winona just say human that costs three or less? That's all you gotta do. Starting stomping ground, sure. Is there they're like flooding, I guess? So next turn, if we draw, what? I guess we can't, probably can't combo next turn. When you mutate the CMC is uh, whatever the top card is, yeah. Eldric Evolution? Okay. Nest Invader. Yeah, this is definitely a Winona deck. Definitely. Shinka, the Blood So Keep. I've never seen a more Winona E deck in my entire life. Um, we should probably kill them. Like, now. Uh, but how? Um... Uh, We basically just like can't win if they steal my stuff. Kill them now in the moment of triumph. All right, so that is true. We could just matron for expert. That's like too defensive though, because if they just die to these smugglers copters, you know. Um, If we right now, we only have one combo piece. We need the other two. Um, We need a sack outlet. We need a we need a plus one plus one counter maker. They have two cards in hand. If we kill Nest Invader, obviously they would need a way to crew. We could. Oh man. Could get a ringleader, which is. Really slow though. This is so funny. Um, yeah, we are dead in two turns to the copters. And we're definitely casting the matrons. We'll just play this and see what what we think.
Burr, what's up? If I were to get Ringleader and play Putrid Goblin, we take a big hit and we untap. And then we still need to hit two combo pieces, honestly. How do they crew two copters? They play a creature. I mean, they're, they're actually full of creatures, you know, like. Getting expert just feels too conservative. If we just get expert, like, I think we're just gonna lose. Um, yeah, I'm very scared of Winota, crew, attack, and they get to trigger Winota twice. twice. If we get Expert, we can, like, defend against that. Um, but then they just, like, copter attack us twice and kill us anyway. And we're just not making any progress. Once we get Expert, we just don't have anything left anymore. We're just so far from combat, we're never going to get there. Um, I think you just Ringleader. And just pray. Either that or, either that or Grum Gully. Um... But I don't think we can make a defensive play here. I think we just died of the copters. So, it's either get Grum Gully and just hope we draw a stack out with our matron, or to get Ringleader and hope we spike. And if we spike, we can't even kill next turn anyway. Yeah, I think our best chance is to get Grum Gully. Doesn't feel good, because we're probably going to lose, but... All right, please don't win on a rider. Me. They almost assuredly have it. The thing is, if we get expert and we either kill Winona or a copter, we have nothing. We have a one-one, a two-two, and a one-one. That's it. And we just have, we're not even close to winning. So, yeah, here it comes. We either should help they whiff. Why not attack into their creatures? Ah, crap. Alright. This is pretty cool. Honestly. Alright, so we gotta hope for double whiff here. They can't hit Angras Marauders or Agent. Their deck is kind of cool. Their deck is definitely kind of cool. Starting. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, we're just dead. All right. So those that don't know what Angras Marauders is, really just a just a terrible, terrible design on Winota. Just all you have to, all it has to say is you may put a human creature with a converted mana cost to three or less from among them, and that's it. So all it has to do, and the card's super cool and super fun. But being able to get seven drops and then restricting the 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 kind of humans they can print in the future is just such a terrible design, baffling design. You're drawing bio anyway, so. All right, so um. See the other hit. I mean, they they just they just they just would put a card into play. I guess they 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 guess they might they might. But all right, so that was kind of stinky. Um, let's bring in Expert, Crater Maker. I doubt they have any, any way to interact with our combo, which is good. And I'll bring in all of this, honestly. And cut probably a Ringleader. I guess Chain Whirl. I mean, they're probably playing like, like Birds or whatever, or Birds or Noble Hierarchs or something like that. For Chain Whirler, but I guess I guess, I guess Creator Maker kills. We don't need to kill Copter. It's, that's, that's terrible. CMC, the number of attacking creatures. That's probably too restrictive, honestly. It's still going to trigger for like one or two attackers and you can't find any humans with it. But I think three or less is fine. You know? 
kind of like Bloodbird off Cascade. Uh, we don't have Gage. What do I want to do here? I guess I don't really want this. Odd Parsley, first Mog Monday. Happy to have you, my friend. Welcome. What do we cut? We want speed, so we're kind of interested in Frog Tosser. We need some interaction um, so we can kill Winona before they play it. I don't think you want Thoughtseize, honestly. Um, let's shave a Sling Gang. Like, if they're only playing creatures, then, like, they can't interact with our combo, which is really good for us, so. And it's fine. I think Trash Master's an overreaction. They're not gonna draw two coppers every game, you know? That's true. I'd say our deck, our opponent's deck, is somewhat similar to ours. Low, kind of derpy creatures with a with a nice combo finish. Copper line gorge, lightning bolt, my skirk prospector. Wow, that's aggressive. Throwing a frog. Well, the thing is that, that they're playing so many things that loot, that drawing the cards aren't that bad. You know, they're just playing, like, the, the copters and the and the pyromancers. It's really a clever design, honestly. Maybe I'll build that deck and play it. It's a very cleverly designed deck. All right, so we could just sling gang here. They probably have a bolt. Although they, they didn't kill the frog tosser. But then we'll have goblins with expert. Yeah, we're we're not gonna bother with the vial here. We're just gonna sling gang. Taking a lot of damage, but typically our lands don't line up like this. No bolt. Okay. And now we got our our experts are on too. So. Eldamari's call. I think that the evolution makes more sense. Temple Garden. I think that they they wanted to cast Pyromancer and fetch the wrong land, and she just just shame conceded. That's my that's my guess right there. All right, I mean, her hand wasn't really good, but we'll take that. So, all right, run it back. On the draw, I think we're just staying the same. So. Yikes. Yikes. Two thousand. Welcome back, my friends. Alright, so we're gonna mulligan, so our hand's terrible. Uh sounds good. Keep ship the redundant piece. We got a we got a little uh, some stuff going on here. Was I surprised how good Sling Gang is? Yeah, a bit. I knew it was good when I, when I saw it, but I didn't think it was as good as it was. It's really, really good. Uh, all right. Let's play Vile. Say go. I wonder how many one drops they have, too. They're playing Arbor Elf? And no lands. Wow. Munitions Expert, please. I wish I brought in that Chain Whirler. Expert? No. All 
Yeah. I also have a forest for Arbor Elf. That's really weird. Yeah, why Arbor Elf? You know, like, I can't imagine they're playing uh, Utopia Sprawl in their deck, right? Sure. Discarding Marauders and Smuggler's Copter. And these are human and... Not That's actually really cool. This Pyromancer is a human you can hit a hit off the Winona, but non-human attackers. Very clever design. We win the game this turn if we draw a Metallic Mimic. Uh, yes, we win anyway. All right, we just turn, we just turn three of them. Must be, as what a way to end this league, right? We didn't combo a single time, and now we're going to turn three in match five, game three, for the trophy. So, infinite mana. Matron. Red cap. We did it! Yeah! Uh, uh, Mog Monday! Just another Mog Monday. That's my fun day. I'm dancing with chat. Nicole's gonna get jealous. All right, trophy Mog Monday. You'll love to see it, and I, I'm really, really happy we finished on the turn three combo kill after not comboing once. Now it's time to message our opponent and ask for their deck because it was awesome. It was really cool. Um, I'll look into that. But um, yeah, so 5-0. Uh, definitely funny we only comboed once, but we obviously were threatening to multiple times and like we were a card off multiple times and stuff. Um, deck's super sweet, honestly. I, it's honestly possible this deck is better than regular goblins in modern. Um, having played this like a number of times now, a number of times, um, it does similar things. It's able to interact with the like, expert and stuff. It can draw cards and beat down a bit, but then we can just combo sometimes too. So definitely better in an unfair metagame. If people are playing decks like Tron and Valakut and Amulet, and you want the ability to turn three or turn four people, it's a nice nice to have. You know, this deck can definitely win matchups that regular goblins can't. Probably a little worse against inter interaction though. So deck's super sweet. Awesome. So yeah, I'll work on that on that our opponent's deck though. I'll play I'll play that on a future stream or a future uh, at some point. Um but yeah, that's it, folks. We have a lot of work to do today. So YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. All right, thanks so much, YouTube folks. Remember, every, every video, like, comment, subscribe, Mog Monday. Check out the playlist. There are 33 other episodes of Mog Monday for you to watch. All right, love y'all. Thanks for watching YouTube.